Our live team coverage continues now with Bill Shields in Tewksbury. Bill, this was quite a turnout. It was. You know, many of the workers are not working right now. Some are. And back of me, you see a mixture outside this market back at bar basket store in Tewksbury. But this morning, there were thousands in this parking lot, all for one reason, in support of RDT. They were several thousand strong, Market Basket employees and some customers vowing to hold their ground until Arthur T. DeMoulis was brought back. Bob McGuff has worked for the company for 47 years and says RDT created the family environment that employees valued so much. I wouldn't work for anybody. I've worked for two people in my life, his dad and him, and I won't work for these guys. The DeMoulos family has been feuding for years, and it just now came to a head, with the board getting rid of the popular RDT DeMoulos and keeping his cousin, RDS. You're not numbered to Artie. He knows your name, and that makes a difference with 25,000 other associates. When word came today that the board of directors was not giving control back to RDT, these employees still refuse to go back to work. Not until Artie T. DeMoulos is back. The board doesn't seem to be leaning in that direction now. We're going to keep up the fight. The meat and produce aisles are virtually empty now, and there are few shoppers, like Carol Medina. I will not shop at any market basket until Arthur T. DeMoulis is reinstated. And many of these workers say they will stay off the job until RDT comes back. The others who are working, they say they are, in effect, slowing down. But obviously, the entire company right now is slowing down. Reporting live from Tewksbury, I'm Bill Shields, WBZ News. Back to you guys. All right, Bill.